Friday! It's Andy here today for Activities with Andy. Today we are talking turkey. We are going to be making a craft um, to make a turkey. It should be really fun. So let's talk about the supplies that you're going to need if you want to make this craft at your house. First thing, a clothespin. I got a big pack at the dollar store. We use these as chip clips at my house. Um, I have a medicine dropper or an eyedropper. This is left over from when my kids were little. A pair of scissors. I'm using paper towels. We are not coffee drinkers at my house, but if you're a coffee drinker and you guys have coffee filters, that would work the best um, for this project. But since we don't drink coffee, I didn't have any coffee filters, so we're going to use paper towels, which by the way, work just fine. Then I also have two bowls here, um, and they have colored water. I just filled them with water, and then I colored one red and one orange. You can do whatever colors you want. Um, you can do lots of colors, you can do one or two colors, whatever is, makes you happy and makes you think of Thanksgiving. Okay, so here's how we're gonna start. Since I'm using paper towel, I'm gonna fold it in half like this, and since turkey feathers are kind of round across the top, I'm actually going to cut kind of my paper towel into a round shape. This part you can do or not do, I just think it makes it look a little bit more festive. If you're using a coffee filter, you don't have to do this part, you can just fold your coffee filter in half. The other thing I recommend if you're going to do this project, use a cookie sheet or a tray of some sort because it can get a little bit messy, um, but not terrible. So, Or you could do it outside on a beautiful day like today. So take your coffee filter or paper towel and then you're just going to drip colors and this activity is really great for using those fine motor muscles in your fingers working on that pincer grass which is also great for pre-writing and cutting skills which are all really important at school so then you're just going to drip your color onto your paper towel you can do it however you like this is fun to drip the colors and see how they blend and spread in the paper towel some red some orange I think it's neat if you can cover up every white spot. <laughs> the other thing you can do, this is a little bit scary, so maybe if you have older children or adults that like to do art like me, you can also drip directly from the bottle of food color. So I have lots of food color at my house because I like to do baking. Um, you can also just drip straight from the bottle and it will give you really bright color on your art. So you can see, let me hold this up for you to see. You can see the lighter colors are from the water and the dark red splotches are the food color that I dropped directly on there. Okay, so you can make a whole bunch of those and then choose whichever one you like the best. Let it dry really good. You can put it in the sun or you can just set it out on a table and let it dry. And then what we're gonna do Going to take a clothespin and we're going to draw a turkey face on here. Now, you do not have to be a good artist to do this. I think I might move a little closer to the camera for you so you can see my art. Okay, so how I like to start, you're going to take your clothespin and draw two circles close to the top, like this. And then we're going to color in the bottom half to make eyes. And you can see this does not have to be really perfect. Okay, and then this is my favorite part. We're going to draw what I like to call the gobbler. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's what I call it. So you're just going to make like a circle and then kind of do a squiggle up top. You can make your circle as big or as small as you want. See, I did like a squiggle and a circle. Okay, and then our turkey needs a beak. So right next to my gobbler, I'm gonna draw a little orange triangle. You will see that I am not a really good artist, but this is pretty simple. And I made my little turkey face. Okay, then 
you're gonna take a brown marker and color the whole thing in. Now, I did one ahead of time, so you didn't have to watch me color. There's my little turkey face. Isn't he cute? <laughs> okay, let me go back to my spot. So, you've got your turkey clothespin, and you've got your paper towel. This one I made a little bit earlier. It's still a little bit damp. Let me move my camera. Don't you just love live videos when you have to move the camera and be silly? Sorry about that. So after this is nice and dry, it should dry really stiff. You can take your turkey clothespin and you can clip it right on there. Now mine is still wet, so it's kind of floppy. Let's see if I scrunch it a little. So then you put your feathers in and it should stand up nice and straight. I think it would be really fun to make a whole flock of turkeys like this. You could use them for name cards at your Thanksgiving table. Even if it's a small celebration this year, you could still make little name cards and say mom and dad and Christine or whoever is coming to your Thanksgiving table. So you can see how cute our little turkey is. Isn't he fun? <laughs> so if you make a turkey for your Thanksgiving table, I would sure love to see it. You can send me a picture and I would love to see your beautiful creations for Thanksgiving. I hope you have a magnificent holiday. I am thankful for you. Bye everybody, have a great holiday.